Prison is not a place most people like to come, but Doug Wendell is here willingly as a servant. Prisons are not a pleasant place to come into and to be in, but to see lives changed in a positive way brings me a lot of joy and a lot of satisfaction. Wendell has been a volunteer chaplain at Lexington Assessment and Reception Center since 2015. Do you need a Bible? He visits twice weekly, sharing the word with inmates. How you doing, brother? Most of these men are just beginning a long prison sentence. Doug, better known around here as Detroit, is a messenger of hope. All right, Father, we come into your presence and uh, I don't thank you that these men are, are in prison, Lord, but I thank you that you are with them here, that you love them, that you have a, a plan for their lives. He has personally prayed for. God bless you, man, good to see you guys. And given Bibles and lesson plans to okay. thousands of men over the years. You guys been reading it? What you been reading? I know that some people call that jailhouse religion, but we know that God is here. Well, God bless you. Good to see you. Since the pandemic began last year, visitation has been restricted to only a handful of volunteer chaplains at each facility. It's been a lifeline for the Oklahoma Department of Corrections and the thousands of men and women yearning for redemption. Oh, they just have proved invaluable. We have other volunteer assistant chaplains that help in the infirmary that visit the sick and are there with them when they're dying. And, and it's been invaluable because uh, through this pandemic particularly, when you take out, we have more volunteers than we actually have employees. And so when that large group of volunteers can no longer come in, well, they have really been a valuable assistance to uh, chaplains all over the state.